<laughs> RuPaul, tune up king. Any more questions? Uh, we have some. Uh, <laughs> that was funny. That was great. I'm going home and try that number six brush right away. I've been having some really bad problems. Uh, we, we, we're running out of time, though, but uh, we do invite you to call in. We're giving away a popular sex album. And the popular sex powers of suggestion, Tim Satimi. And if you'd like to ask RuPaul, tune up king, a question, feel free. Now is your time. Do we have another phone caller? Hello, you're on the air. Um, I was wondering how many albums you have. This is my debut record right here that you can get at um, Wax and Facts in little five points and um, the uh, Third World Enterprises right down the street. Where's here. that room? Third World Enterprises oh. right down the street. You can talk to Ray over there. Um, also, I was wondering, where were you born? I'm from San Diego, California. I was born and raised there, and I, I moved here when I was um, 15, and I attended the Northside School of Performing Arts, in fact. That ties right in with Rocky Horror, which I'm re in rehearsals for right now. I'm doing this, the Rocky Horror Show on, ties right on Peachtree, the Broadway of ties the right South. In. So, so are you ever going to be on this show again? On this show here? Yes, sure. I know I'm going to be on this show again. Well, we'll have to see about that. Would you like to see RuPaul back on our show? Yeah, definitely. Yay! <laughs> so, uh, I don't guess we could uh, interest you in a Tim Satimi album. He's a mime. Okay. Uh, Yay! Give this girl a Tim Satimi album. Do we have another caller? Hello, you're on the air? Yes. Can we help you? Yes. Um... Rupa. Yo. <laughs> Why do you have the um green red um stripe on your hair? Hair. Why have s something sparkling in my hair? Yes. He's on fire. It yes. happens to the biggest rock stars, folks, and you saw it here first. <gasps> yeah, I like to put all kinds of things on my yeah. head. Don't try that at home. You can get that <laughs> glitter in your eye, seriously, and that can cause some problems. That's so right. Only under the supervision of your parents. Yes. Thank you for calling. Do we have another call? Hello, you're on tracking. Yes, RuPaul. Uh-huh. You ever did shows at Illusions and places like that? Yes, in fact, um, I, I did uh, one show at Illusions with my band, Wee Wee Poe, and there's some songs f from that band on Illusions. my album. Illusions, the, um, the um, female impersonation thing. But I was doing my RuPaul, and, and it's, you know, I was doing my... But I work right now across the street at, a, at Weekends. I'm a go-go oh, dancer there. God. I'm a go-go dancer at Weekends on Sunday. Well, this Sunday I won't be doing it because Julie Brown's going to be in. You're yeah. going to Julie Brown. She's this weird lady. Um, she's going to be Wiggins. Uh, but um, was she I, a dentist or something? No, or she does something. I read about her in People magazine. She's going to okay. be there. But I go-go dance there on top of a go-go box with very few clothes on at weekends on <laughs> Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Please come down and see me and give me give me some money. But, come on. Now, what exactly does a go-go dancer do? Well, you know, I'm, I, I'm a go-go dancer in the true sense of the 60s. You wear little white boots and stuff no, and a skirt? No, I wear, I wear, like, you know, Mini all skirt? kinds of different things. I, I, I wear um, whatever it takes, like, stuff, mostly cool stuff. So I, I wear, like, cool stuff. I wear jock straps and with my butt showing. We've got another caller. Uh, hello, you're on tracking. <laughs> hello. Hi. Yeah, uh, this is a question for you. <laughs> for who? For Ruth? No, for you. Okay, who is this? Uh... Could you, where are you going to send that Bombay album to? Because the girl on the phone answering the questions don't know where to send it or what to do. Well, uh, would you like a Bombay album? Well, you said you were going to give me one. I'd love to give you one. What's your number? Leave it with our guy on the Wait, let me get your number first. What's your number? All right, 875. 875. 7098. 7098. What's your name? Tony. Tony. Tony, I'll give you a call and we'll send you an album or you can come by the studio and pick it up. Thanks a lot. Thanks for calling, Tony. All right, bye bye. Was that Tony from 6 and 8, Tony Evans? Oh, we should have asked. He had an English accent. I don't think Tony 688 knows how to use a phone. Oh. Any, uh, any more callers? Hello, you're on the air. I'm sorry, can you speak up? Hi there, Spencer. Hi, who's this? Hi there, RuPaul. <laughs> now, my question is for that RuPaul. <laughs> that RuPaul, right here. That RuPaul. <laughs> RuPaul, I have read all of your books, and I like Stay All. Now, in your book, If You Love Me, Give It To Me. Uh-huh. That's my first book. You have wrote that when you was little, you used to sit on your daddy's shoulders and lick his bald head because it tasted saucy. <laughs> my question, <laughs> RuPaul, is 
Does you still do that today? And if so, to who? <laughs> You know, no. this, we could send this lady over to the <laughs> Mathis Dairy with a head of cow. That would be perfect. That's perfect. Maybe you should go to that party now. <laughs> no, these days I lick my own bald head. I sit up on my own shit. I no, 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 no. I haven't seen my father in some years, and I, I don't lick his head anymore. I lick other people's heads, though. If they, we have um, another caller. <laughs> That was a good question, though. That's great. great. I'm bringing up my books because... You win the prize for the best question. Would you like a popular sex album? We'll have to uh, get that woman back on the phone and give her one of these. Do we have another caller? Yes, this is Henri again. <laughs> Jeez, man, man, I'm loving this show. Uh, Roof Hall, if you don't come to my party, <laughs> you're going to buy yourself a PC Plaza pond. Uh-oh. <laughs> Andre, you. Andre, just keep the salt licks handy. <laughs> we'll be there, I guarantee you. No, I'm going to definitely come. I'll bring some super freaks with me. Mm. I'm going to bring them all. I'm bringing the Now Explosion, too, who are, who's my sister group, you know. Oh. They, they got me in clubs, and they have a record out now, too. In fact, we're on the same record label, Funtone USA. Yeah. As a matter of fact. We have another caller. Rue, you're just a, just a hot topic tonight. Yes, Can you're I, on the air. I have two questions. Okay. Rupa, how did you get started wearing what you do? Your hair ponytails and now let's clarify this. This is this a ponytail? This doesn't look like a ponytail. It's just a oomph. It's an oomph. It's an oomph on top of my nappy head. Okay, we're running out of time. How'd you get started? How did I get started? I got started. What I just made the decision that I was gonna. You know, for years I sat around waiting for someone to discover me. Wrong. I discovered myself, just like Dorothy in the Wizard of Oz. She <laughs> went through all this time finding to find out that she had the power within her all along. If you want to find out how those secrets of life. You will look at that movie, The Wizard of Oz, not with old nappy-headed Diana Ross, who is my idol, of course, but I don't like that movie. I do like it, but I don't like it. But anyway, watch that movie. And anyway, how did I get started? I wrote in, I made some effort. I said, boom, I'm, I, at the time I was 21, I said, it's getting late. I've got to do something. So I wrote the American Music Show. They yeah. said, come on, and boom. You know, as a matter of fact, I got one of your first postcards. Yeah, I would watch you on the um, television, too, on the public, you know, because I was one of those people, and there's probably some out there, who, with the dial thing, which <laughs> the 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 <laughs> And when I saw something interesting, I, I'd stick it on there, and I sent you postcards. And that was the time when I was saying, boom, I've got to let everybody find out about me, or else I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to let all this wonderful, nope. wonderful beauty and love Rue, go to Rue, Rue, waste. Rue. Now, no. how old are you now? 24? How old are you? 24. I'm 24 now. Now, 10 years from now, you'll be 34, let's say, if, mm -hmm. if my addition is correct. Yes. <laughs> After tonight. Now, what are you going to be doing in 10 years? What do you think? I hopefully I'll be producing other people. I'll be I would have made billions of dollars with million billions. selling records billions. like my brand new record, uh -huh. Sex Freak, which is at all the record stores in town. All of them. And um, <laughs> hopefully in 10 years I would be producing movies and um, where videos. is it? Third one? <laughs> Come on. We have another third caller. Third. I hate to interrupt you. Hello, you're on the air. Yes. Um, I was wondering if there's like any way I could order two of RuPaul's records. Why don't we give her one? Sure. Yeah, you, that's a good idea. What's yeah, your you number? What's one? your number, hon? 952 mm -hmm. What's your name? Alara Stevens. Spell it. S T E T H E N S. All right. Um, can I give you a second name for the other girl who wants one? <laughs> you well, got any brothers or sisters? Hey, what class are you in? Give me your high school and no. Go ahead. <laughs> Do you really want it? No. I don't think Rue has uh, got billions of albums. Uh oh. <laughs> She's calling the high school now. Uh, no, but if you go down to your record store like Wax and Facts yep. or Record Bar Linux. Or maybe. Or um, the, Third what is Third World Enterprises <laughs> down there. They have the record and they will sell it to you. Mm. Even at weekends, right. if you come and see me there. Okay, we, we got a weekend t shirt giveaway. And uh, it's, it's great. It's one side here, one side there. It's got writing on it. Timeless. It says from weekends. The next call, with the best question in the next two minutes, is going to win this. Hello, we have another caller. You're on the air. Hello. Hello, Spencer. Yeah. Spencer, I really think your show is really neat. Thank you. And uh, I'm calling from New York. Barry. It's not Barry. <laughs> it's Barry. Barry, what are you doing? <laughs> I just thought I'd call in. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Pretty good. Barry Rosen. How you doing, Spence? How's your guest? Good, buddy. I got RuPaul. I got RuPaul on tonight. How you doing, Ru? Hey, Barry. <laughs> What's Barry happening? and I were college roommates. He's in New York now. He's working in advertising. He was down here a couple weeks ago, and he came by for one of the shows. And I'm a big fan of the Thornton Show. <laughs> it's a great show. It is a great show. <laughs> We're going to have to get it on in New York. That's right. I think so. I think we should syndicate it all over the world. How's, how's Manhattan Cable looking right now? It's looking good, Spence. Yeah, we're almost up for an Antichrist update here with Tom Zarelli, so you better stick around, Barry. Okay. Well, uh, God bless you, bud. Okay, pal. See you, Barry. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Take care. I'll call you. Okay, Spence. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> That's Barry great. Rosen. 
Okay, well, we can't send this to Barry. The next question, please. Hello, you're on the air. Yes. Hi, RuPaul. Uh-huh. Hey, my 15-year-old daughter brought you to my attention. <laughs> and I'm another 60s hippie. You know, and we came from the generation that gave you the freedom to be able to do what you want to do. Thank you. Thank right? you. Some of us. And what I'd like to know is, how sincere are you? You know, I mean, this is, this is a great freedom. And we fought very hard to give it to you. Mm -hmm. And we would really like to know that it is passed on to the hands. Has it passed on to good hands? I don't Let's know. Check your hands, Ruth. I've got, I've got black yeah, fingernail yeah, polish. Jesus. <laughs> this is my black. I um I feel it's in good hands. I'm really am all joking aside. I'm, I'm totally positive. I'm totally for being good and wonderful and all that stuff. I think it's on. The, I feel like an, a hippie of the '80s. In fact, mm -hmm. you know, it's in good hands. Yeah. I'm a, I'm gonna show these kids how to how to have some fun and that it, and not to take life too seriously, which is the main point. Too many people just waste too much time, uh, you know, crying over stuff that. Go on, girl, about your business and, and have some fun. You know, Rue? put some stuff on your head. Rue, I'm getting the you signal. <laughs> Rue, I'm getting the signal that we're out of time. Already? We're out of time it, already? Have you got one last comment for audience? Any words of wisdom? Any words of wisdom? I say if you follow RuPaul, you cannot lose because uh, <laughs> RuPaul is going to the top. I won't forget any of you. I love you. And if you need me, call me because I will always be there for you. I would you. love to have you back. Thank you very much Thank for Thank you. On our program. <laughs> Next week. Next week, we've got a heck of a show, Katrina and the Waves.